everyone. Today, I am going to just be simply canning plain ham. What I'm going to do is cut it up and jam it into my jars. Fill my jars up with water and salt and pressure can it. We'll be back. Now that we've got all of our ham cut up and into our jars, two hams got me seven jars and it was nine pounds of ham between the two hams. And that makes these just a little over a pound, which is perfect for soups, stews, uh, hot dishes, um, shepherd pie, uh, pot pies. It's just perfect. You pop open a can and you're ready to go. All right, and then you add one teaspoon of canning salt to each jar. And then we fill it up with water. Now you can use pork stock or pork broth or ham broth or whatever you want from a store if you have it. But, or ham bone broth if you've got ham bones and stuff and make pork broth. But I want this as natural and as little added flavor as possible. So I have the pork flavor when I'm using it in whatever I'm going to make. All right, I'm going to get more water and fill these up and we'll be back. All right. Now that they're all in their jars and they've all got water in them, we're going to debubble. You always got to make sure you debubble. You want to get as much of that air out as possible. Now, because we're pressure canning, we don't have to do the wiping and the cleaning of the rims. Because that will all get sterile in the pressure canner. We're ready to go. I always make sure another trick is to make sure you do one jar as far as the debubbling. Ah! Goes at a time and putting the lid on at a time so that you do not forget. What you're doing or what jar you're on so none of your jars get missed and you always make sure that they're debubbled all right I'm gonna finish debubbling these and into the pressure canner they go and we'll be back all right here we go all seven of my jars are in I've got the water I always add the water after my jars are in. Probably add more water than I need to, but I always add the water up to. See if I can bring you in here to see. The, right where the bottom of the rim is starting to come up on the jars, right here. Down here. And I think you can see my fingers making the water move. That way I don't have to worry about whether or not there's enough water. Oh, look at that. You can see my sign from the video I was filming earlier today. Yeah, I have filmed about five videos today because my Zacon came in and it's Christmas season. And I do a lot of stuff at this time of year. All right. Jars in the canner. Lid on the canner. We're going to process these for 90 minutes. I always use a weight according to your elevation. Turn it on to about 8. And we're just going to let it be. We're going to let it set. It's going to come up. We're going to come to a full steam. And then we'll let it fully steam for 10 minutes. And then we'll put the weight on it. And when it comes up to a jiggle... We'll start the processor and process for 90 minutes. And then when that's done, we'll turn it off. I'll be back to show you exactly what full steam looks like. We'll be back. 
All right, this is full steam. You see how my button over here has popped up to create a good seal. And then let's see if I can get this steam to come in. Maybe if I... There we go. See that full steam? Now we let it vent for 10 minutes and then we'll put our weight on it. We'll be back. It's been 10 minutes. We're going to take our weight and just set it right on top. And we're going to come back when it's rocking and start the timer. We'll be back. That is processing. Oh, how the heck is steam getting on the camera? All right, that is processing. We're going to let it process for 90 minutes and then we'll be back. This has been processing for 90 minutes. We're just going to turn it off and let it slowly come down on its own. This will start, stop rattling. And then when this falls, all the pressure is gone and you can slowly open it. We'll be back. There we go. Buttons have popped down. Pressure's all released and ready to go. So we're going to take it off. Open the lid. Always open it away from yourself. Give it a minute. And then we're going to let it sit for five minutes. Cool down a little bit before we remove them out of the canner. And off to the side to cool. I forgot to put vinegar in there and now my cloud jars are all cloudy. Live and learn. We'll be back. All right, we're going to pull these jars out and let them sit and cool for 24 hours. As you can see, like I had said, you don't really need to add broth. When you can it, it's going to turn into broth. Um, generally, you would hear popping, but they already cooled and popped while they were sitting in here for five minutes. There we go. Oop, there was one. Alright, we'll be back when all of these are cooled and settled. And we remove the rings from the jars. And there we have it, seven jars of ham, canned and ready to go for soups, stews, hot dishes, salads, anything. They're beautiful. And they're gonna literally fall apart and crumble when you pull them out. And then there's this gorgeous ham stock in here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to know anytime I upload a new video. Thanks for coming along with me, and I hope to see you next time. And remember, everyone, stay positive. Bye.